Hi, this is Angelique Medina with Thousand Eyes. On November 12th, 2018, Google was dramatically impacted by a BGP route leak that took down many of its core services for quite a number of users around the globe. And what we can see here is the Google status dashboard from November 12th, and it states that the issue was due to ISPs erroneously announcing Google IP addresses. And it also shows that the incident began around 1312 Pacific Standard Time, or 2113 UTC, and lasted for about two hours. But what this dashboard does not show us is how this outage unfolded at a routing and network level. So we're going to give a quick overview of what that looked like using the Thousand Eyes application. So here we're looking at the BGP route view. And we're looking at the same interval of time in which Google specifies the incident began, so around 2115 UTC. Now Google announces many prefixes to cover its IP address ranges, as we can see here. But at this point in time, our monitor saw a suspicious announcement for Google Cloud Services covered by a slash 19 prefix. And if we look more closely at the path, we can see precisely what changed. And this will give us an indication of the routing issue that led to Google service disruption. So here we're looking at one of our BGP monitors connected to NTT. And it shows that NTT was initially routing traffic to Google directly, which we can see more clearly if we jump back about 30 minutes in the timeline. And now jumping back in time to when the incident occurred, we can see that once a small ISP in Nigeria called Main One started announcing routes to Google services, announcements which were then propagated by one of its peers, China Telecom, we can see a new convoluted path appear. And while Google is still the origin of the prefix, the AS path now includes Trans Telecom in Russia, China Telecom, and Main One in Nigeria. We can see the effect of this route change if we look at the path visualization view in the Thousand Eyes app, which shows traffic connecting to google.com from multiple locations. So here we're looking at layer three hops between multiple sites around the globe and Google servers. And if we look specifically at Paris, we can see that traffic to google.com resolves to a Google IP address. But the very odd suboptimal path becomes clear if we start to follow the traffic node by node. So traffic is routed from France to a node in Russia, and from there is directed to China, where it's dropped by a router on China Telecom's edge. So traffic is effectively black holed. It's effectively uh, disrupted. So um, service to Google is disrupted to some users. We know that the root cause of service disruption is due to a network routing issue, but we can also hop up to the app level and just see at a high level the impact on locations attempting to connect to google.com. We can see on this map that at the time of the incident, Paris is unable to connect to Google servers. And if we were looking at this view without having seen the network or the routing view, the fact that we're seeing a connection error would indicate that there is probably something going wrong on the network. Other locations are showing green, meaning that Google service is available to them, a further indication that the issues are external to Google and that Google's application infrastructure is up and running. What's really interesting about this incident is that even though Google is one of the most powerful companies in the world with vast, sophisticated infrastructures, even they were not immune to what can happen when the fundamental chain of trust on which the internet operates is suddenly disrupted. And in this case, it was due to a misconfiguration error on the part of a, a relatively small ISP in West Africa. But deep visibility is one way that you can stay aware of BGP and other dependencies that impact the availability and performance of your digital offering. So please uh, feel free to check out our blog post unpacking this event in more detail. And don't forget to sign up for a free trial to start uncovering network insights that will help you thrive in a connected world. So until then.